Just like any other Battle Royale shooter, or really any other FPS shooter at that matter, you know, to be the best at Fortnite requires you to have impeccable aim. There's just no other way around it. You know, precise aim gives you an added advantage when taking shots, building, or even just trying to make a sly edit. Simply put, if your aim isn't top-notch, say goodbye to your chances of becoming a professional. But fear not, my friends, the Motivation Guy is here to help you because today, we're gonna be taking a look at some of the top gamers in the world. What's going on, guys? It's the Motivation Guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only. It's me, Keith Allen. Want to let you know right now that I am your number one fan. I'm rooting for you guys. Come on now. This is your time. This is your year. Let's be great. Follow me on my Instagram when you get a chance. I would love to hear from you. So today, we're going to be taking a look at Zexro and Mongro. You know what I mean? Some of the two most notable editors in all of Fortnite. These guys constantly amaze us with their insane clutches and Twitter-worthy clips, you know, which all stem from such high levels of consistency when it comes to yours truly. Truly, that is the aim. Speaking of uh, better aim, Fortnite requires you to hit your shots, otherwise all your flashy builds and edits are going to go to waste. And I know from experience. <laughs> you know, we've seen time and time again professional players like Zexro clutch up and win merely through his aim. That's why ProGuys.com is the place to go if you're looking to improve your aim and other skills, okay? We have master courses from some of the best pros and on-demand coaching available at all times. Did you just hear what I said available at all times? So be sure to check it out. So without further delay, sit back, relax, and you better have a box full of my favorite candy, and that is that bunch of crunch. Let's get this going. All right, guys, so first things first, we have to look at these players' setups. Starting at the foundation, we need to take a look at the sensitivity these guys rock. Just like any other technology, in order for it to perform the best, it needs to be calibrated. And these guys, Zextro and Mongro, they're machines. So they need to be calibrated to the ideal sensitivity. I will say off the bat that both of these guys play on keyboard and mouse. So uh, for all you keyboard and mouse players out there, you guys are in luck. I still love you guys on controller though. As of recent, Zexro has been playing on 400 DPI with an in-game sensitivity of sitting around 0.12. Mongrel uses a DPI much higher than Zexro, 800 to be exact, but the in-game sensitivity make up for that in the ways that DPI doesn't since he only uses 0.05 in-game. Averaging out the DPI with in-game sensitivity is what is known as E-DPI. This means you take the DPI and you multiply it by the Indian sensitivity and you get what is called the effective DPI. Zexro's E-DPI is 48, while Mongro clocks in slightly lower at 40. Now, before I make any conclusions, I have to make a single disclaimer. Everybody has a slightly different sensitivity that they are most comfortable with. You're gonna have to do some trial and error, guys, to find that sweet spot. You know, but once you do, your aim will instantly begin to improve. But I'm here to tell you guys today that between 40 and 48 EDPI is a really good place to start. If you have two of the best gamers in the game, both having similar sensitivities, going too far away from that might put you at a slight disadvantage. It makes the uphill battle of trying to become a master aimer that much more difficult, and who wants that? You do not need to make this already difficult process even harder. And if you don't trust me, please trust x at least, okay? Especially when he just 1v6 at top Fortnite names such as Tfue, 72 Hours, and Cloaksy. Okay, so once you've gotten your sensitivity settled at a spot you're comfortable moving forward with in a long term, you know, it's time to start developing your craft, all right? For those of you who have already begun this step, you already know what I'm talking about. But since I know that a lot of you guys don't know what I'm about to say, let's just talk about aim trainers. Now, aim trainers are programs specifically meant to develop your muscle memory and get you in the habit of better aiming. Who wants that? You know, when I talk about aim trainers, most of you guys instinctively think about Kovacs. Many streamers use it regularly on their live streams before heading into a big tournament just to get the juices flowing. And if you think Zextro can aim the way he does without utilizing this crucial program, then you, my friend, <laughs> you're just flat out wrong. If you think Zexro is the dominant aimer in Fortnite, then you can bet on everything you got that he's even a more dominant aim trainer. Seriously, guys, this dude has multiple World Cup record times. All right, so take a look at this. Now, if that doesn't impress you, then you know what? I give up because I don't think anything will. On stream himself, the man just showed you how to set a world record, okay? And that is to just get good. No, no, it's not that. 
But seriously, you got to ask yourself this. How did he get there? And the answer is pretty simple. And I know this is a word that a lot of you guys are frightened by, but it's practice. He has hundreds of hours logged into the game, right? And if you want to get anywhere near the level that he's at, not only in this game, but also in life, you're going to have to do the exact same thing. And that's just practicing, man. There really is no simple way to work around that. Now, if you play on controller, what's up controller guys, which I think a majority of you guys do, Mongrel has you covered. Instead of the good old Kovacs, you know what Mongrel does? He prioritizes aim training maps. These aim training maps have been specifically made for top players like Mongrel to use. So I'm pretty sure that they're more than suitable for you guys who are watching right now. So over the past two years, Mongrel has been using aim training maps just like the ones you're seeing right now to craft his precision. And in my honest opinion, in my humble opinion, in-game aim trainers are far superior than external trainers. The reason being, if you really want to know, is it's more difficult to translate anything outside of the game into Fortnite if you're comparing it to an in-game practice. With aim training maps, you're already inside of the game on your native sensitivity, FOV, resolution, and everything else. So I would say to you controller players, not having Kovacs as an option isn't really that much of a disadvantage. If Mongo doesn't rely on it, then neither do you. All right, so with that being said, let's talk about high pressure situations. Raise your hand right now if you've ever been in a high pressure situation. That's like every time we play the game. Sure, you know, you may have pretty good aim, especially after this guide, but when it comes to the final kill, that final moment to get the victory royale, what's going on in your head, or even the tournament winning shot, you might just find yourself starting to crumble. Oh my goodness, I know, I've been there. Also, we can look at Zex Row for some solid advice. And an Ask Me Anything, also known as an AMA on the social media platform Reddit, Zexro answered a bunch of questions related to the competitive side of Fortnite on the comp sub. One of the questions, of course, was regarding how he was able to never crumble under pressure. Zexro had this to say when met with that question. You need to not panic by realizing there's nothing on the line and you should be watching your VODs for help with end games because those will help a lot. Although I might disagree with Zexro regarding nothing being on the line, uh, that's definitely not true because everything is on the line. <laughs> I think that's a solid strategy to implement in your mind though. You know, when scoping in for a shot, you have to follow your brain to instinctively fall back to its natural routine. What would be the point of gaining muscle memory if you won't let the muscle memory do its thing when the most important situations arise? Now, I know this question wasn't specifically towards his aim, but this one is a little bit more personal for me. I feel as though, like, with all the aim practice that I personally do, a lot of it goes to waste when I crack under the pressure of a close quarter box fight. Now, this advice that he offers, man, that's priceless. Getting your mindset right, you know, putting in the practice to be confident with your muscle memory and reviewing your own gameplay are very solid strategies, guys, at having the preparedness to go into any situation with the utmost confidence, regardless of the pressure. The final note that I want to touch on today is the simple fact that, you know, a lot of top players are going above and beyond to maximize their aim. Some pro players are even opting to buy aim training packages from aim coaches. Now, these aim coaches specifically work on your movement habits. You know, like how you interact with your mouse or controller. They set you up with specific training routines depending on what you need to work on to improve. Now, a lot of times, you know, I see aim training coaches get called out by the average player because they don't do anything. Well, I can assure you, all right, that this isn't simply the case. The best of the best, top tier pro players are very likely working with many specific coaches to elevate their game and stay on top of the leaderboards. It's why you're not going to find many pros denouncing them. It's just the new industry standard now. If you want to be among the greats, you got to play their game. If you're willing to invest in yourself, I mean like invest in getting better at the game, then we definitely suggest coaching for this scenario. In fact, we do offer services just to let you guys know to match you guys with coaches over at ProGuys.com. This wasn't supposed to be like an ad or anything like that, but I seriously ask you guys to consider this as an option if you feel like this guide is taking you to your current limits. I can assure you right now that Zextro and Mongrel have all the staff in the world alongside those top-notch facilities to help them become and now stay at the top of their game. You might not have people catering to your every move, I get it, but what you do have, well, you have us. We're going to hook you guys up with the Prime service over at ProGuys.com, whether you want to focus on AIM or anything else. You know, our top players are going to set you on track to become the next Zexro. All right, so to review all the points we went over earlier today. All right, so one, your sensitivity is the fundamental building block regarding aim. With the weak foundation comes a building that's gonna crumble after one earthquake. Make your foundation strong and start your quest for solid aim by getting the sensitivity at your sweet spot. All right, so two, 
AIM trainers are a wonderful thing. Whether you use Kovacs or you just simply hop into one of Mongo's AIM training creative maps, grinding these on a daily basis is what the pros have to do and that's what's going to help you continue to stay on your A game. If most pros are doing it, uh, well that probably means you should do it too. 3. High pressure situations are very likely to cut into your muscle memory, but Zexro put it best. You have to look past the pressure guys and act like the play you're going for is like any other. It's how he consistently clutches up, and he's practically offering you guys the keys. Take it. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, it's your guy, the motivation guy. That's right, your friend, Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Instagram. I love to hear from you guys. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to use code ProGuides when you make any sort of purchases. You know, it just really helps us out, and we really do appreciate it. Comment down below what you guys thought about this video and what you like to see next, because we aim to bring you guys daily quality content. So do us a favor by liking the video, subscribe to the channel, and show ProGuides.com some love for bringing you this video. All right, guys. Love you guys. I believe in you. Keep going.